you. Time now to ask the expert here to answer your questions. Live on the air is life coach and therapist Juliana Lydon. Okay, let's get straight to it. Angela in Goodyear says, my sons call each other fat or skinny almost daily. I don't know how to get them to stop. Right now, I make them do the chores of the brother they body shamed, but it's not really helping. Any tips? Oh. Yeah, that actually is a pretty good idea. However, what I would do is I would one up that and I would take away something they really love. Mm -hmm. So for example, you know what, you do it again, you're not going to play the video game. Yeah. You're not gonna go out with your friends and watch how fast that remedies okay. the situation. Yeah. Okay, that's a great idea. All right, Riley from Scottsdale says, I don't want my child to be insecure or have a complex, but what if they need to lose weight? How do I approach this? This is so hard. And the, it is hard and it's common. You need to do it as a household. Mm -hmm. I really think this is the best way to do it because if you isolate them and you're giving them, you know, the lean cuisine or whatever right. it is, that is just, it's more shame. Yeah. So you bring about, like we talked about in the segment, hey, we're going to all eat healthy. Everybody's going right. to eat healthy. Right. If you and your husband want to go out to dinner and eat whatever you want or at lunch when you're right. away, do that. But at home, really try to reinforce that. Yeah. It makes all the difference and then everybody feels more balanced and healthy. I do like that. And we all could be healthy. Well, right, right. We all right. need There's to make healthy choices. Right, nothing yeah. wrong with that. Okay, Sarah from Cave Creek says, I have a daughter who needs to lose weight and a son who needs to gain weight. Mm. I struggle daily because my daughter thinks it's not fair that she doesn't get something my son gets. How do I balance this? Okay, so if the son, if you need him to gain weight, right, we need to be careful because how is he going to be gaining weight? It doesn't mean he's going to be eating chips Junk and food. dip. Right. Yes. So, so instead, we're doing kind of the same thing. Okay, right. maybe he needs more protein or good carbs okay. or something like that. So that's not going to affect her. Okay. I mean, as much. Yes. she's going to be like, well, I don't really want another chicken breast. Right, right. <laughs> so pay okay. attention to what you're feeding because yeah. protein makes you gain muscle mass, right. which is another way of gaining weight, which Still is good. be healthy. Yeah. Okay. Albert from Ahwatukee says, what do I tell my child who has body image issues? Issues and thinks they are too fat when they are not. I know saying you look great does not change their own perception and may not even help. Gosh, we've, I've been there, yes. You know, I think the most important thing is when they are feeling this way, we really need to find out where on earth are they getting this? Where are they comparing this? Yeah. You know, comparing themselves. Social media. Right. Or what, yeah, so if source. you find the source and then you start to have a discussion, well, honey, you need to look at this because this is way out of line. Yeah. This might be what's happening in our society, but it's not healthy and it's not how you're supposed to look. Okay. Once you get to the root of it, it's mm -hmm. really going to help you have that conversation. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Michelle from Gilbert says, how can you have a healthy body image when so many scroll on social media and <sighs> All you see are perfect looking people. Excellent question. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's it's the biggest conundrum we have right. out there because again, this is the norm in really our yes. world. It's their this generation. Is, They're growing right, up with all of this. Right. Yeah. This is what's considered pretty. This is yep. what's considered yep. sexy. This is what's considered perfect. So again, you really have to have that conversation with them about where they're getting this information, but you need to monitor. Mm -hmm. We need to monitor how much they're on there. I mean, it's not, you know, social media is a big, a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of different That's places. That's why you said earlier, you got to limit it. You do. You yeah. really do, especially different ages. Sure, sure. Juliana, thank you so much. I Great think those questions. are really tough. Really good questions. But yeah, I mean, it's real life, right? Yeah. Thank yeah. you.